Okay, let's do a, a ranked match with uh, D Shift. So, I mean, with D Shift, um, it's very strong against any kind of control matchup, uh, any kind of control decks like um, Control Swordcraft or Control Havencraft. So, like the the Seraph uh, Havencraft deck is very strong against any 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 kind of control meta. This deck will destroy them because it wins consistently on turn nine or ten. Um, okay, this is going to be a very hard matchup. Uh, hope this is the control version, but almost certainly this is an aggro version. This is probably the worst matchup um, for this deck. I mean, I haven't played this deck that much at this rank purely for this reason because the majority of the meta at this rank is aggro decks um, which destroy the deck I'm playing now but I'll try my hardest um, so this isn't a very good mulligan I mean I could potentially keep this because it is a spell boost card but I don't really want to I don't really want this and this isn't particularly a good opening card this I kind of want to draw a little bit later on um, to boost all the spell boosts so I don't really want any of these um, although I am against aggro, so since I'm against aggro, I'm tempted to keep both of these two just so I can try and survive the early game. But I mean, it's not really what I want to be doing with this deck, but I'm going to have to try and keep these two um, just so I can try and survive some of the early game. Okay, so I haven't got a one drop, that's a good thing for me. Um, I'm not going to play anything. So this is looking okay. I mean, I've got this to kind of contest the board. Um, okay, so this is 100% the aggro version. Um, he's got quite a weak opening. I've got Merlin now, which is very strong. So I'm going to play this to try and contest anything that he's playing. Um, I want to try and draw D shift as early as possible to have, stand any chance in this match. Okay, that's that's a very strange card for his deck. Uh, there we go, I've got D-Shift now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this. Uh, I'm going to try and get D-Shift down as early as possible. And I'm going to get his health down as early as possible as well. Um, so I mean, this is a little bit deceptive. Because um, I've really only done two damage. Okay, so we've got this. Okay. That's fine. So, I mean, what I'm going to do is I'm going to evolve Merlin and attack Merlin into something. Um, I'm going to attack Merlin into this and kill this. Um, so, unfortunately, I've had to leave a bat up. I mean, I would have liked to have killed that bat as well, but. Unfortunately, I've had to leave a bat up. Um, he's probably gonna, he's almost certainly gonna have to kill my Merlin here. Um, whether he does it through a bat or he does it through evolving something or some kind of direct damage, he's gonna have to kill Merlin. He can't afford to leave Merlin. Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, this is a control deck, though. This is like a, this is a very strange deck. Um, okay. Can kill her next turn. This is a very, very, very strange deck. Um, I'm not really too sure what deck this is, um, but I mean, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go face with this, uh, and then I'm going to kill this. Um, I mean, that'll that'll draw me some nice cards. Uh, but I think it's better to play this. Put a bit of pressure on. There's not really any reason to evolve it. Um, could evolve it to put a Crimson Sorcery in my hand. I'm not sure if that's correct. If that doesn't feel correct. Uh, I mean, I can always play this and evolve it next turn if I really want that. So, I mean, I'm just placing this on the board to give a bit of pressure. Um, so, I mean, I'm looking quite good. Because this is the control version, he's not really threatening me. Um, I've got two of my combo pieces, so if I draw any more of them, um, 
he's very unlikely going to win. Uh, I mean, what is he? He's okay. So he's uh, B1. So he's very slightly better than me, but he's not. Uh, I mean, he's very slightly higher rank than me, but not by much. What did he play? Play diabolic drain. Deal four damage to enemy. Follow them. Restore two defense to. Okay, so he killed him off. That was a little bit overboard. Um, I mean, it's unfortunate that I've got all of this uh, control in my hand when I don't really need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this just to get some more card draw. Okay, that's very good. I'm going to play this. Um, okay, that's good. So I'm going to play this. So now I'm looking very, very good. Um, it's likely I could just kill him very, in the very near future. Maybe one or two more turns uh, and I could just kill him. Because um, I mean what I can do is I can play these two, I can evolve one of them, play Dimension Shift, uh, play the other one, evolve it, uh, and then just deal ridiculous amounts of damage. Um, I really want either two dimension shifts or to be able to play both of these and dimension shifts in the same turn. So it's probably not going to be next turn, it's probably going to be the turn after. Um, okay, magic missiles. An okay ish draw, I'll use it in this face. Um, Fate's hand isn't a great draw. Um, so I don't really want to bring him down to below 10, there's not really any need to, uh, so I'm probably not going to attack with this. Uh, I don't really want to play Fate's Hand for 4 mana, but I might be, I might have to. Okay, that's quite good. Um, okay, so I don't really care that I'm going to burn a card next turn. Um, it might be possible that I can just win next turn. Um, I don't really need to attack with this, so I'm not going to. The only reason I'm not attacking is because I don't know what he can, it, it makes it easier for him to get down. Okay, that's fine, that doesn't really do much. Uh, that allows me to get value out of my fire. See, he could have got down to, so I mean, can very easily get, clear his board now. Um, okay, that's fine. So I'll clear his board. Uh, and then I'll play this. Um, and then let's check. Because I mean, next turn. Um, yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this on face. And then I'm not going to attack with this. Um, yeah. So, now what I can do is next turn I can play both of these, evolve one of them. So I've won next turn, essentially. So he's got to kill me now, um, or heal himself up massively, or he's lost. Okay, so he's brought himself down. He's wiped the board. Okay, so he's lost. So what I can do now is. Let's draw because I can. Yep. So this is going to cost seven to do the combo. So, I mean, I've already won, but yeah, let's not be. I mean, let's just play. So I can play both of these. Uh, I can evolve one of them. Um, you can hit him in the face. Uh, I can even play this, uh, and then I can Dimension Shift, and then end the turn, um, and then now I can evolve this as well, so, okay, so that's the power of this deck, that's how you win on turn 9-10, pretty consistently, um, I'm very lucky that uh, I was versus the, the control version in that game. If I was versus the aggro version, um, it would have been extremely difficult to win. Because, I mean, as you saw, I didn't have the legs to kind of win early. I mean, I had a lot, a lot of store cards, so it would still be possible I could have won if it was the aggro version, but 
very unlikely. Um, so that's how you kind of play this deck, that's how you kind of win with this deck. Um, it doesn't work very well at this rank, uh, because the vast majority of the games are going to be aggro or mid-range kind of decks that this deck kind of struggles against, especially aggro decks. Uh, mid-range decks it's got a lot more of a chance because they still tend to not win before turn 10 quite a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, that's how to play this deck. Um, it's a very, very interesting deck. It's my favourite deck to play. As soon as I get into the higher ranks, I'm going to play almost exclusively this deck uh, because it's by far my most favourite to play. Uh, as you saw, I had lots of different choices I could do each turn. I had loads of different lines of play I could have taken. There's always ways to improve with this deck. I mean, I'm by no means anywhere near a master with this deck. Um, I know the general theme of how to win with it, but I am no way a good player with this deck. Uh, it's very interesting, uh, I highly recommend you playing it. It's not very expensive, um, it costs like 1500 to make, it's quite a cheap deck uh, in terms of competitive decks, it's a master level deck. Uh, there's, lo there's lots of different things you can do with the deck, uh, as I explained before, you can, um, you can switch out the Earthrite uh, petrification synergy for the uh, summon ice form card. Um, so I mean, uh, maybe ice form is probably a better one to put in. Uh, so you can switch them out for this to stall. Um, you can also get the uh, fiery embrace. You can run this. Earlier versions of the deck I had was running this and the summon ice form. Um, but to tech against aggro, I mean, this isn't particularly useful against aggro. So, I mean, uh, I prefer the this and the Petrification tech, personally, but I mean, there's lots of different modifications you can make to this deck, it's very good, um, highly recommend you play it, and thanks for watching.